Hello and welcome back to Vault Hunters. First things first, finally, we got our vault, well, shard pouch. Thank you to those of you who told me that it was a bug that you can't craft it. Yeah, now we can. In today's episode, I want to run maybe a few vaults. I'm not sure how many I want to run, but I definitely want to try and get some more vault gear. Because in the last episodes, we only got these two totems here. I want more. I want armor, I want maybe an axe and sword and stuff. Yeah, I I want stuff. I want cool loot and stuff. Now, in the last episode, we also made these vault catalysts, which we weren't really getting any good combinations here. Healing, fragile, meh. Plentiful, difficult, raging, Eh. So yeah, I think we need a little bit more vault crystals. And yeah, I'm I'm still getting settled in with my new story stuff. Everything is not in place yet. I might do that in a live stream. So if you want to catch that, make sure you're subscribed and enable link those notifications. You can also join my Discord server. Link down below in the description if you're new and don't know that I have a Discord server. I post when I go live in there. Right. This is our next vault recipe. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's fairly easy. Well, it would have been easier if I had all the parts so. Why did it get last? Oh yeah, all the way down here. Where we go. Another thing that I'm really hoping to get in today's episode as well is a few flasks of regret. I really regret getting the healing for the dash and the fart for the mega jump because I use those two quite a lot to maneuver around and now I'm kind of handicapped because they take some of the power that is in them so... Yeah, I'm not super happy with that choice. But that is why Flask of Regret exists. So we can regret. I think this should suffice for now. And we're back. There we go. Now for the final piece. Aha! Uh -huh. That was quick. Boom. Two. I might try and see if I can find some more now that I'm here anyway. It would be cool to have a few extra. Aha. Oh, that's two of them. Four. I only need one for this one, but getting a few probably wouldn't hurt. All right, heading back. And there we go. Sweet. ka -ching. Now, before I try and combine it with these vault catalysts to see what we get, let's try this. Honeycomb, melon, redstone, snow. That's easy. Honeycomb, redstone, snow. I wonder where we would get so many melons. Oh yeah. <laughs> Here. Oh wow. This cactus farm is actually not too bad. Whoa. Okay, I'm happy with this. ka -ching. And that is officially my final vault rock. I need to go down mining in order to get more. But for now, let us now see what we are able to potentially get. So positive and negative modifier. Optimistic and fatiguing. I don't know what optimi optimistic does, but it does sound promising. So we have plentiful and two negative modifiers. Plentiful, hard, frail. Yeah, th this one in general is just a meh. Strong and a negative, which is trapped. So we're strong, but we're trapped. Right. All right, now let us try the other vault crystal. So positive and negative. Phoenix and vulnerable. I don't it would help if I knew what Phoenix and vulnerable actually meant There's probably a place I could look at that, but I just haven't rotten difficult and plentiful Strong and destructive. Oh dear, right. These two are not that great. This can be good. Yes Ooh. Ooh. Oh Wow, yep perfect I know this is probably a waste for me and my resources, but I really want to use one. Wait, how? Eh? Ah, there we go. Okay, positive and negative. Okay, we can get some good stuff here. All right. Extended and furious. Okay, that's actually good. Extended means that we get, I believe, two and a half minutes more to loot. Furious doesn't sound that great, but we do have extended. So that is... That's a possibility right there. Speedy and withering. I, I don't even want to know what withering does. No. Phoenix and crowded. So far, the extended and furious one sounds good. Uh, I don't know what furious means, though. Okay, so I just found a Google Docs that explains all the different modifiers. And furious is a big no-no. The, the damage mobs do in the vaults are increased by 50%. 
no, I'm not. I'm not happy about that at all. I'm not happy with any of these catalysts, to be perfectly honest with you. Okay, optimistic adds an extra five minutes to the vault. Okay, I just gotta know what fatiguing does. Okay, fatiguing is actually not bad. It just means that mobs have a chance to apply minor fatigue to you that will last 100 seconds. But given that I have cleanse, I should in theory be able to negate that potion effect. I'm gonna take this. There we go. And we're going to run that vault right now. I hope I made the right choice there. All right, well, let me get ready. I also got a great tip as well, that instead of taking two boss crates with me or taking two arena crates, take one arena crate and one boss crate. That way, if if I go like this and I place one down, it automatically replaces this in my inventory. Whereas if I have a boss crate and an arena crate, I can keep my inventory a lot more organized and probably fill up one crate before swapping to the next. And that is a great suggestion. Thank you. I have my shard pouch, I have my crystal. Now I have building blocks, potions. I think this is good enough. I'm missing something. I know I'm missing something. Power bars, not power bars, candy bars. All right. Let's go, actually, first let's take a nap. Here goes, optimistic and fatigued. Optimistic and fatiguing vault. We have 30 minutes in this vault. Let's go. Now this is vault level 25, so things might get a bit hectic, but we're now able to collect shards. So actually killing mobs are actually going to be rewarding now. All right, I have not ran any vaults in quite a while. So if I appear rusty, then that is why. Hellfire PvP. Sorry, but goodbye. Ooh, what was that? Star Essence. Ooh, yeah, they have a chance of... Oh, get a shirt on, buddy. Ah, uh, vault time, two minutes. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, sure. Ooh, yep. Definitely, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Oh, Iskel, hi. You, you're down here too, running this vault? Okay, yeah, cool. Please get out of my way. Whoa, okay, getting a bit crowded here. Hello, Mobi Tanuki. Hi, please don't hurt me. Ooh, a vault diamond. Sick. Poison, not sick. Ow. Okay. That hurt. Okay, I don't think I've been in this room before. It looks big and valuable. I think I could really do soon with upgrading my weapon to maybe having an enchantment that does more damage to undead. All right, so far 10 minutes of this vault has been used. I have half the obelisks. I don't think I want to fight the boss in this vault, but never say never, you never know. Fourth obelisk. Aha, village room. All right, going down. I'm afraid we don't have an end portal here, but we do have some gilded chests, which is nice. Whoa. Okay, that chest is not worth it. All right, heading back out. Health points, seven hearts. Oof. Okay, yep, I will do it. There we go, and... And just do this a bit and we're good. Yes, worth it. So far I've only gotten vault totems though. I want more vault gear. Another health points one. I don't think I have the health to do that one, unfortunately. I'm out of healing potions. Hi stress. Sorry stress. <laughs> Alright, seven minutes remaining. So far so good. Hi Tabo. Bye Tabo. Fifth obelisk. Just need to find one more obelisk and I might be able to defeat a vault boss. And there it is, the sixth obelisk. I think I'm gonna do it. I want to try and level up my my totem here, so yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, I do know my way back if things go south. Power bar, activate, booty man. Okay, yep. So far so good. Yep. I'm not even doing damage to him with my sword. <laughs> Everything was the rampage. 
Wait, where's it? Bus crate. I need to bus crate. What's the bus crate? I didn't get it. Didn't that drop a bus crate? What? Did, it, did I not? Oh, I did get it. No, wait, that's mine. Wait, I didn't get a bus crate. Huh? Am I missing something? I'm confused. However, our total did level up and we got wither immunity. Not the greatest. We did, however, get a pretty good amount of loot. Time to go through it. I'm not going to point out everything that we got. I will be looking at the interesting things such as the relic booster packs and things like that. Everything else you will be able to see for yourself just to speed the looting process up a bit. We got a flask of regret for speed. That's good. I'll just do the mystery process right away. Power bar, not bad. Relic like boost packs. Nothing. We got four volt diamonds in total. That's pretty good. In fact, we are now able to make our next knowledge star, I believe. We got two Wu-Tex shards, which is really good as well. Another star. Bunch of gem ores, which is great. And a flash of regret for the talent Frenzy. We also got two statues, one generating netherrack and one generating smooth sandstone. Those are actually not too bad. You can go here and you can go here. Kumara, you're gone. Kumara, you're also gone. And H-Bomb, you are gone. And Jamal, the dude, is also gone. To the cauldron you go. We're at 57%. Now we got a vault plating. Permanently adds 50 max durability to any vault gear. Maximum 20 plates can be attached to any one gear. Now remember, vault gear such as vault armor and weapons such as the sword and axe don't have the ability to get mending, so being able to repair them is extremely crucial. So things like this is very, very valuable. We also got a bunch of burger pieces here. We're able to make nine burgers actually. Also we leveled up. Now we got two vault totems here. Both of these are scrappy plus, so let's see what we get. All right, so this is a different kind of totem. This is the Thanos totem. This is common and this is scrappy. This has wither immunity and this has poison immunity. That's my new totem right there. I know we just leveled up this, but this, this poison immunity is huge because the chest can be trapped with poison potions. Oh yeah, that's, <laughs> that's huge. Oh, we also got another statue. Gray Alaba, I, uh, hey, gray, huh. I mean, that looks actually like a pretty cool block. Now let's not forget we also got 60 shards from that one vault. Now with 60 shards I can't get much, but when we do start getting more, we will be able to get some pretty cool things. Now I'm actually pretty sad that I didn't get the bar, the vault bars crate. I was looking forward to that, but um, well, I guess it glitched or something. I don't know. Now I do believe we are able to make another knowledge star. It just requires quite a bit of Larimar and I hope I have enough. I'm gonna select Vein Miner and... Oh, wrong pickaxe. Like I said, I'm gonna place down six and... Ooh, that's really good. That's actually everything we need now. There we go. All right, star core. And then another knowledge star. I'm gonna wait with spending it because I don't want it to sit up here. Question is, what am I going to use it for? Drawers is a very tempting one, but it would increase the price of everything outside with one. And the power mod is still at a three. And I would need something like this or mechanism in order to generate power. So it would put me further away from eventually getting applied to logistics or refined storage because those two require power. So power is a great mod to go for. So I can either use my knowledge point to get drawers, but then it will take me longer to get applied logistics and power, or I wait and spend it on something else. Issue is I don't need any of this stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna save this knowledge star somewhere safe, and you guys let me know down below in the comments what you think I should be using it for. However, we have more vaults to loot. All right, let's go ahead and do our second vault run. I'm hoping to get some more vault gear and I really want a choice of regret or whatever they're called for the specialization for <laughs> dash and mega jump. All right, what do we got here? Extended, which is cool and difficult. Of, of course it's difficult. And of course I get into the spider room. That's, oh yeah, why not? 
Why not? Ooh. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Off to a great start here with the village room. Let's go. Another vault time thingy here. Okay. I gave the favor. Eh? I don't know what favors mean. What what does favor what what does favors mean? I don't. Ooh. Okay. What does what does favor mean? I don't. Someone help. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we're off to a great start here. Look at that poison immunity. Ha <laughs> ha! This thing is amazing. Okay, let's dig down now. Ah, I have my fortune pickaxe with me. Uh, that's not good if we run into vault ores. Uh, do we got anything good down here? <gasps> yes, we do indeed. Hello. Yeah, let's get rid of. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not this again. Not this again. Not this again. Not this again. Deja vu. Okay. Hmm. 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 We good? Yep. Think we're good. Let's first get this out of the way. Get rid of the lava. I hate silverfish. Okay. Think we're good. Grab an eye of Ender. And boom. And I think I can just vein mine these. And that should make it easier and faster to loot. Nice. Not bad at all. All right, moving on. Oh, wow. Oh no. Uh, we got a puzzle room. Wow, okay. This vault is really, really cool. Okay, what do we need? We need one blue. Got that. Need three yellow. I do have that. And then one green and three pink. Okay. I'm happy if I spend the rest of my time here looting this stuff. All right, that's one pink. Another pink. I just need one more pink, then I can open these chests. One, two. I'm just missing one final block. That is final pink block. Boom. Okay, vein miner. Wow, that's a lot of loot here. <laughs> oh man, this is a lot of loot. All right, cool. On to the next bit. We have 14 minutes remaining. That's not too bad. Health points. I guess I'll do that. Just not right now. Okay. Boom, boom. Gotta be careful. And die, open, yep, definitely worth it. Next, nine minutes remaining, not too bad. Oh, I missed this. Okay, I can do that. Whoa. Wow. While I'm happy I'm getting all those, I'm also... A bit sad that I'm not getting any other vault gear, such as armor or weapons. <laughs> That's what I really, really want. I've gotten so many totems so far. Uh-oh. Bad. Place. Place. Blocks. Please. Please. Place. Blocks. scary oh another village room okay I can take this don't think we have another portal however but there might still be some good stuff here please just give me this just consent okay while well, I'm waiting a minute here so we get up to more experience I'm just gonna go ahead and farm shards I might as well all right 30 seconds let's go home I would say that that was a pretty good success and this thing have been extremely useful with the poison immunity. Now, before we continue, I think I should probably brew up some more health potions. But let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Okay. 
There's a lot of stuff here. Okay. Well, I guess I should just start from an end, shouldn't I? We've gotten a lot of burger pieces now as well, which is really cool. We got a flask of regret, remove one level of ability dash and regain the split guild point spent. So close to what we need, but that is not, in fact, what we need. This would basically just remove one level from dash, which is not what I want. I want to remove the specialization. So close, but yet so far. It's the choice flasks that we need. That's one empty. We also got a lot of gems from this vault. Not bad. More burger pieces. We actually have a lot of flasks of regret now. Wow. And empty. Now I got four trader cards, diamond, Wu-Tex shards, and Benya type gems. That's not bad. Common backpack. Not bad at all these actually. Yeah. Not too bad. Relic booster packs. T-Wolf Combat Boots. Craft together with the four other pieces, blah, 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 just like the rest. Uh, do I have... I feel like I have something from that set. I just don't remember where I keep... Wait a minute, I do now. Aha! Yeah, don't don't look at this chest. It's, it's an absolute mess. But we now have two pieces of the T-Wolf 999 set. That's cool. We also got mystery boxes, which is going to be a pain, but here we go. Okay, not too bad, I guess. Sweeping Edge. I actually don't have Sweeping Edge on my sword? Huh, well, let's change that right away. Now we move on to the big moment. We have four unidentified Vault Totems. Let's see what we get. Okay, this is new. This one is new. We haven't had this one before. Okay, so the name is Gray, so it's probably not gonna be that great. The Wendar Totem. Cooldown reduction. What does that mean exactly? Weapon cooldown? That is weapon cooldown. Oh, that's huge. I okay. I these two are my favorites so far. All right, so we got another Valora, uh, which just adds another four. Basically, the same one that we got before, with our immunity and n nothing. Okay, I'm going to extend my setup over here a little bit. I'm gonna add, I think, a shelf here. And I'm going to take all of my totems and things that I won't be using and saving them in here. And I'm keeping them separate because I think we will be able to use them for other things in the future, potentially. I'm gonna save this right here. The, I really love the poison immunity, but I do love the cooldown reduction as well. That's huge. But I think for now, I'm gonna rock with my Tenor's totem. So, like Iskal would say, great success. <laughs> All right, I think I have everything we need. We have this final crystal right here, and we're gonna run it. I want some vault. Gear. If we don't get it this time, I'll be sad. Let's go. Unlucky, difficult, and strong. Great. Yay me. <laughs> so maybe if it's unlucky, that means the chest loot is going to be meh. I might try and fight the boss if I can find all the totems for it. So far, I already have two of them. Ah, dangerous TNT room that can kill you in an instant. I, uh, that's a sneaky chest, not gonna lie. And worth it too. Third obelisk. Ooh, city room. I mean, despite it being unlucky, I'm still getting some pretty good stuff, so it's not half bad this. I want vault gear, please. Fourth obelisk. Ooh, this room. Uh, this has great potential to be something good or something really bad. Uh, hmm. Guess I'm risking it. I think what you gotta do is kinda do this. And then... Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is really bad. This is a bad room. Bad room. Really bad. <laughs> really bad. Okay. Okay. Worth the risk, though. Definitely worth the risk. Oh, dear me. Okay. A village room. I'll take this. Portals? Don't think so. Mm -hmm. That's definitely not a portal. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nope. 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 Uh. Nope. Getting out. 
<laughs> Not worth the risk. I'm just missing one obelisk, then I will be able to fight the boss. Wait a minute. This is another city room. I mean, I'll take it gladly. What? What on earth? I'm fighting myself. <laughs> okay. Did not expect that. Two vault diamonds. That's really good. There you go. Looking in the sewers as well. I'm sorry, but these sewers are mine. What way did I come from? There's another city room back to back. Are you kidding me? I mean, so far, 10 minutes left in the vault. I am a tiny bit lost. Need to find my way back to the portal before it's too late. But I really do want to fight the boss. Don't blow up. Okay, back to the surface I go. Where did I come from? Come on, final obelisk. Where are you? Monster soul. Sure, I'll take it. Okay, yep. Good stuff. This has to be a joke, right? This is another city room. I'll take note of it. I'm gonna keep going because I really want to defeat a vault boss with proper time left. Because the more time that's left, the more loot I'll get. Uh, so I'll get back to it if I don't find the final obelisk. Village room again? Are you kidding me? Okay, quick look. I don't see one. Not gonna bother. East next room have an altar. Obelisk, sorry. <sighs> nope. I think at this point I'm probably better off just quickly looting this. I do not have that much time remaining, so this has to be extremely quick. Netherite block? Wow. I mean, I'll take it. <gasps> yes! Finally something unidentified that is not a totem. <sighs> Finally. Okay, I'm happy now. <laughs> okay, three minutes remaining. Eh. Gonna get back to my main room. Unfortunately, no boss fight. I really wanted to do that, but that will just have to wait. And that's my portal. All right, I am gonna just farm kills here until it is time to head home. I am being swarmed. I think now it's a good time to say goodbye. <laughs> oh dear. But we made it. And look at all the loot. This is a lot. I got two more traders, one selling a pixie apple, but also a mega torch. Prevents natural spawning of hostile monsters in a big radius around the torch. Ooh, I could use that here and this entire place would be safe from hostile moths. Yeah, I might get that actually. I have a bunch of vault silver here. Well, hold on. Make a torch. How much is it to craft a make a torch? I didn't even know it was in here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy that. <laughs> there we go. And I can take out that trader card because it's sold out. So I guess I just need a good place for this. But for now, it can be right there. Yeah, yeah. I'll get I'll get a better place for it. Don't worry. All right, I'm gonna wait with this unidentified stuff till after I've dealt with everything else. I have so many diamonds now. I got three new statues. We got me generating gravel. We got Monit generating scoria stone. Jay milt the dude. Meta metamorphic tiger stone. Hmm. All sounding very interesting. Uh, I need room. I need more chest placed. He'll be on standby. <laughs> Look. That's me. Anyway, moving on. Block of netherite. An actual block of netherite. Huh. Ooh. Okay, so these... So I got... <laughs> I got duplicates for the Shield Man H set. Um, yeah, again, ignore this chest, please. But I don't think I have any from that set so far. Yeah, I'll organize all this later. All right, everything is empty. All we got left now is this. So we got an unidentified vault totem here and we have an unidentified vault axe. Okay, let's start with the totem. And it is plus 550 durability. Not great. I'm gonna put it together with the other ones. Now for the axe. This is the one that I'm really excited for. I do need a new weapon, so this could be really, really good, or it could be very... Oh, it's gray. Okay. Well, let's see. 
Okay, so it's scrappy. It has space for two repairs. It can level up once and the level requirement is 31. And it has nothing on it like this has a modifier. This has nothing. It does do base damage of 10.4 though. And it is, I think, not as fast as the sword, but it does hit pretty hard. So if I added smite or even sharpness to this thing, I could get this to do some pretty heavy duty damage. I mean, I have smite five, which does damage to undead mobs. So it does kind of have an undead feel to it. The gray greenish thing right there kind of reminds me of a zombie texture. So I'm going to, I'm going to make this the undead killer. I think. Now I don't know if you can actually take unbreaking on this. You can. Okay, that's really important because remember, this cannot get mending. I can repair it, but I can't put mending on it. Oh, I can't put looting on the axe. Aw, okay, well, I think that is all I can add to it then, or all that I want to add to it. So we got ourselves a brand new weapon. I was hoping to get some armor as well, but we will have to try and get that in the next episode because I'm completely out of vault rocks and I think we are at a pretty good point of calling it an episode. Now in between this episode and the next one, I am planning to do a stream of organizing all this. So if you want to catch that, make sure you're subscribed and have notifications enabled. You could also feel free to join my Discord server link down below in the description. I announce when I go live there as well. So yeah, I just found that I have three dead statues here. We can add that to the cauldron. And we're now at 68%. Hmm. Hmm. 38 volt burgers. <laughs> Boom. Now we're level 27. Now one thing I just realized as well is that I'm not actually able to use this axe yet because I am not vault level 31. I need four levels, but I have these. Wu-Tak Shard reduces the level requirement of any Volt Gear by one when combined in an anvil with a Volt Gear item. So I'm currently level 27. So if I want to make this to level 27, I would need to apply four Wu-Tak Shards to the Volt Axe, which I'm going to do because I want to use this thing in the next episode. So we have 27 mil mystery boxes. Let's see if we got anything good. No, not really. But with all that said, I think this is going to conclude this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new, do consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, just because I almost never plug it, you can follow me on Twitter if you so desire. Link down below in the description. But yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And goodbye.